Hello Pisces and welcome to your November 2017 tarot readings with me. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you please do subscribe and let's get started. Um, so as usual, dear Pisces, we are going to go week by week and at the end we are going to have the message of the universe. So let's get started. And how does the month of November start for Pisces? Well, the November month starts with you doing some kind of administrative work, uh, with you a bit um, engrossed in paperwork. I see uh, many of you are filling up some forms or um, maybe applying for a new job. There is something happening around papers, around administration. Um, there is a strong masculine influence in the first week of November upon the Pisces. So this masculine influence can be uh, that of a father, that of a um, boss, a brother. It can be uh, the influence of um, somebody in authority position, a person who is a bit cold, who is a bit, um, uh, you know, rigid uh, or antipathic, uh, like not very, you know, not very openly declaring uh, the warmth or the feelings. Uh, somebody like that you are meeting in the first week. It also can be a therapist, it can be your doctor if you have uh, any health problem that you are consulting a doctor um, to, yeah, to, to just uh, go and see a doctor or um, somebody in the administrative post or if you are having any case going on then you are meeting a lawyer or somebody in the um, somebody in the law that you are meeting uh, concerned with the law that you are meeting dear Pisces in the first week this can also be if you are a, a male Piscean this can also mean it's you it's um, you who is um, uh, you know in the position of authority who is a bit cold and uh, a bit distant when it comes to your dealings but this masculine influence dear Pisces is a positive influence but this uh, masculine but this masculine influence dear Piscean is a positive influence because um, this person this man is going to get give you the support that is going to be needed the much needed advice at that particular point of time that you're going to need this person is going to be of immense help no matter how cold they appear no matter how um, you know distant they appear but this person knows uh, what exactly you need at this point of time and is going to extend his support towards you so don't hesitate to take on the support because it is going to be a positive uh, thing dear Pisces and this is all for the first week of the month of November wow what a start you are protected already right then we go to the second week uh, dear Pisces and in the second week the things are a bit slow taking it easy yes and um, certain kind of delays are expected like for example if you were waiting for a particular thing to happen for you in the second week like um, related to your projects related to your personal you know documents that you were waiting for some important documents that were supposed to come in the second week uh, well there is going to be a delay so it doesn't mean that things have failed okay it is just meaning that um, dear Pisces it's time to relax it's time to uh, be patient and to wait because these things are in the line and um, they are going to come to you it's just that there is a bit of slow energy in the second week I see uh, that there is very slow energy so maybe um, you might be feeling a little bit lethargic also um, or maybe you you are just taking it easy right dear Pisces in the second week and um, those of you who have been uh, waiting for a particular answer let this answer be concerned with your work or with your sentimental life 
you are waiting on something for the second week of November but it's going to take a little more time and that doesn't mean that everything is uh, you know the answer is no or anything doesn't mean that uh, dear Pisces it just means that dear Pisces uh, we have to take time because everything comes to you on the proper time and this is what is going to happen and it's going to teach the Pisces to be patient uh, to say that okay I'm going to wait and uh, I know that finally the answer is going to arrive uh, and let it take its time let, let it take its gestation period in order to uh, become complete yes you don't want anything premature uh, dear Pisces and the second week's uh, card says that the second week says that wait a bit things are coming but things are on their way there are a bit of uh, you know delays on the way maybe a little bit of barriers uh, but finally it's going to come to completion dear Pisces and the same uh, would be uh, applicable if you're traveling dear Pisces um, I would almost suggest that uh, when it comes to traveling please take care of uh, your baggages, uh, all your papers when you travel and um, yeah be careful when you travel, be careful when you drive also dear Pisces okay because there is this second week's energy is a bit lethargic it's a bit um, how do you say uh, it's a lazy energy yes and um, when the energy is lazy Pisces tend to daydream yes dear Pisces <laughs> take care not to daydream while you're driving okay or while you're walking on the street okay so be focused um, maybe have a nice cup of tea coffee or some fresh orange juice um, before you start so that you're focused your attention you are alert okay because the second week's energy seems to be a bit really really dreamy so um, when it comes to traveling when it comes to driving please take care okay and uh, uh, there are delays expected in your travel plans too when it comes to the second week so uh, there might be some kind of hurdles uh, so even if you're traveling uh, you will reach your destination but a uh, bit you know sometimes we have this kind of uh, um, yeah, some kind of uh, delays uh, regarding flights, your train, your bus. Okay, so there will be some kind of, uh, you know, Maya, what we call an illusion, uh, takes place in the second week. So please take care of this energy of illusion in the second week, uh, dear Pisces. Be alert and know and be very patient. Inside of you, you say, I'm going to get what I need and it's going to come to me on time. I'm not going to panic. I am just going to enjoy this moment, this week's energy and I'm going to take time to just spend time with myself inside of me. And the week goes faster and it's easier. Right dear Pison? And then we go to the third week. Now the third week's energy is going to be a little bit of a challenging energy. And how is it challenging, dear Pisces? Well, already in the second week, if you have travel, uh, logically speaking, and uh, you have gone far from your family because you have been, uh, how do you say, uh, you have been working, you have gone out of station, so you are away from your loved ones. Yeah, so there is this feeling of missing your beloved in the third week. Um, because of this temporary separation uh, that the card show uh, because you were required to go somewhere and because of that uh, you cannot be with your loved ones or with your partner or with your love partner because they suddenly they had to go somewhere or you had to go somewhere and uh, because of that there is a separation between you two for a moment momentary it's a momentary separation it's um, in this context it will be a momentary separation from your partner because maybe uh, you have enrolled uh, into another university or for some other seminars 
and um, you are engrossed in your things and somehow your partner is not liking it also because the partner says oh oh um, you are not paying much attention to me so there 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 is um energy of a bit of you know uh, energy of misunderstanding wherein you will try to convince them that I'm very busy I cannot be with you all the time or I have other things to handle and to complete while your partner might be more in the Venus <laughs> Venus energy who wants you very close to them and uh, taking care of them but um, this is going to be a bit of a conflicting energy when it is related to your interest and their interest uh, you're going to be uh, really apart uh, <laughs> you are going to be on Mars for a change and they are going to be on Venus so um, you have to sweetly explain to them that uh, you know work is work right so they have to understand you and they have to um, they have to give you your space and this energy of the third week is all about the space between you and your beloved if you were in a wrong relationship dear Piscean and if you were thinking of calling it quits well the third week's energy is also about calling it quits with that person where you see that um, you are not really um, being respected for what you are giving there are no returns actually and um, you are not you know that you're not being respected and that time you feel that um, I am not giving my sentiments to the right person so at that time you feel like taking your distance from them and uh, you say uh, well I will need a bit of time to figure it all out and some of you might call it quits um, for for good while some of you might just you know uh, take distance and try to introspect upon the upon the depth of this relationship was it just something superficial you know which like okay I saw I liked I conquered and now I regret yeah was it that or um, or or is it that um, something can be done is just that we are on a different level of understanding and we don't see things the same way but at the same time uh, we can manage it through these difficult um, uh, set of minds I mean both of you might have a completely different way of looking at things and that's quite normal uh, everybody's education differs and so when two of you are under one roof it's more than normal that um, the, the differences have risen just because of different educations in your upbringing and you both are not um, you know meeting each other's expectations so is it that you can make some concessions and make this relationship work uh, because you feel like making it work and even the other person feels like that or is it that there is no common point or the values are not at all similar nothing is similar and uh, only you are investing while the other person is not investing in it so at such times you say well it's better that we you know say goodbye in good terms and if life wants it will make us meet once again right dear Pisces so this is the third week's energy and not just in the sentimental field it will also be in your work field wherein maybe you were thinking of uh, changing your profession you were not really satisfied with what you were doing so there was some kind of something else was was calling calling you out inside of you you were feeling that I'm doing this but that's not my path uh, my path is something different and you hear this voice inside of you that is calling for you and um, at the time you decide to uh, take steps to achieve this path to divert from your existing path onto this path uh, this new path that you are feeling this intuition inside of you is telling you to go on this path dear Pisces so it's a lovely energy somewhere because um, 
somewhere I take um, even you know like when you part uh, it's for a good reason always when you part from the existing path uh, because if there is something inside of you that is telling you that's not the path for you take something else that means your life is calling you uh, for a new mission for something else sometimes we keep trying uh, with a hard-headed attitude if things are not working you keep trying you keep trying so many times you try and it doesn't work so at that time you have to know that there is something else and something better waiting for you and in the third week many of you are going to realize that there is something better waiting for you uh, your path is different so even in the work field this energy can work this way and um, some of you might just plan to quit your existing job to start something on your own or to take up a new path because all this energy is forcing you to see things not as you want them to be but as they are dear Pisces and then with this energy of transformation of turning the page of having a bit of introspective time and a bit of inner turmoil of course because when we transform there is always a turmoil inside of us otherwise it's like a field you have to plow it in order to make it fertile to grow something on it so this field of your heart is getting plowed and here your Pisces in order to make it fertile for a new beginning for something new to start on any field that you choose it to be for and then with this energy you go to the fourth week dear Pisces and the fourth week's energy is really really wonderful and why is it wonderful because whatever spontaneously you are starting whatever project your creative projects your ideas anything related to personal life related to professional life your health practices your spiritual evolution whatever spontaneously you are starting is going to flourish the energy is that of giving you that push in the right direction to succeed dear Pisces in the fourth week it's all about the creative energy so if you were thinking that um, you wanted to start something related to singing, music, writing, uh, dancing, uh, some kind of creative project, cooking, uh, fashion designing, fashion designing, interior decoration, whatever, healing practices or your self well-being, how to achieve that, so yoga or um, the Tai Chi, Qigong, uh, Zumba or you know whatever it was related to uh, your new spontaneous beginnings or a new baby project is going to take birth in the fourth week and whatever you start at this time at this point of time dear Pisces is going to be rewarded it's going to be rewarded by the universe because you have a lot of positive energy coming in and it says okay my dear Pisces, I am with you and whatever is coming, it is not coming out of your mind. It is the universe that is sending it. Have you realized sometimes just something comes in your mind when you were not even thinking of it and you call it an inspiration or a sudden idea. But actually all this is present in the universe and it just strikes you. And then when it strikes you, all of a sudden, you have to know that it is coming from above. It's coming from the divine. This divine energy is striking you and making you take that decision. Yes, dear Pisces, isn't it wonderful? What a beautiful month, I would say. So many things happening on so many levels, right? And then, what is the message of the universe for you? Wow, such a beautiful message. It says, take charge of the situation, dear Piscean. 
be your own master be your own guru be your own teacher this is what the message of the universe is for you you will be supported the moment you decide dear Piscean you are going to be supported in your mission take things in your hands take charge of this situation talk openly and honestly about whatever are your feelings whatever are your worries talk them out to the person in concern put it all on the table instead of just passively waiting pick up that phone give that call speak waiting sometimes is good but not all the times opportunities are lost if you wait too much it's like saying yes too early or no too late right dear Pisces so do the needful this is what the universe is asking you to do your intuition is going to be your guide your intuition is going to guide you dear Pisces in whatever the question is on your mind your intuition is going to guide you to take charge of everything and to follow the right path make those contacts go make those contacts disclose whatever your feelings your deepest feelings are to those people to that person who is in concern they're not going to know what you are going through unless you put words on it they are not as intuitive as you dear Pisces you have to express Pisces have difficulties doing that they show exactly opposite of what they want many times when they want to say no they say yes and vice versa hmm? so the time has come to assume your leadership regarding your life take the wheel in your hand and drive your own car enough of sitting in the assistant driver's seat or in the back seat take charge of your life you have to drive your life no more looking back look ahead opportunities are there go speak express yourself and give result to long stagnating problems in your life decide the time of decision is here we don't want to go with lots of baggage of the past in the new year now just one month is left hmm? so do the needful take charge of this situation whichever situation you are in you know it much better your personal your professional your health your spiritual life take charge of the situation dear Pisces wow time to be your own authority yes dear Pisces so thank you so much for following me through till the end of this reading dear Pisces and I wish you a wonderful November truly transforming November a bit of rest and lots of things to do so much of creativity is waiting for you this month so many things to prepare now for the next year and for the end of the year dear Pisces so my dear Pisces thank you very much please do comment like share and um, I wish you a wonderful wonderful month of November with lots of optimism lots of newness and lots of dynamism to complete the year okay dear Pisces there you are your own boss this month so all the best with your new responsibility because you have to take care of one person and you have to direct one person and that's you okay dear Pisces I'll see you in the month of December until then take care 
and bye bye take care